PM Wong turut menyentuh mengenai beberapa perkembangan luar negara termasuk keputusan pilihan raya Presiden Amerika Syarikat. Beliau prihatin akan kemungkinan ketegangan antara negara itu dengan China terus meruncing dengan kemenangan Donald Trump. PM Wong turut berharap pentadbiran Encik Trump akan lebih terlibat dalam rantau Asia Tenggara terutama sekali dalam bidang perdagangan dan keselamatan. We would like to see more American economic engagement in Southeast Asia. Up to now, America remains the largest source of foreign direct investments in Southeast Asia, even more than China. But American trade lags behind China. Uh, and I think there's still a lot more that uh, the US MNCs can do and would be happy to do in Southeast Asia in both trade and investments. We want to facilitate that because we think it's uh, good for the region, it's good for Southeast Asia. Sejak Ogos lalu, PM Wong juga telah memperhebat usahanya memperkukuh jalinan dengan rakan-rakan kerja luar negara. Hujung bulan ini, beliau akan ke Peru bagi APEC dan Brazil untuk sidang puncak G20 sebelum ke Malaysia bagi sesi retreat pemimpin. Usaha ini penting, kata beliau, dalam kepentingan utama Singapura. What I do here is also crucial in advancing Singapore's core interest, especially at a time when the world is in flux. In fact, it's going to be a far, far more dangerous world. We already are experiencing two hot wars in Europe and the Middle East. It reflects the state of the world, one where established norms are fading and where multilateral institutions are weakening. All in all, it means a less hospitable environment, especially for small countries like Singapore. And that's why we have to work even harder to strengthen our network of friends and partners and to work with like-minded countries to shape international norms and rules and to find common ground on issues of shared concern.